Okay, so welcome back to the stream. I'm actually against a V. I do not know this matchup at all. I've never played this matchup before. But looking at their team, they have Shen, they have Kha'Zix, they have V, they have Vayne. So I'm probably going to build a Frozen Heart eventually, probably after my Shirelias or my Bilge Ready Pan, which one I want to get first. Most likely I'm going to go for Shirelias, but um, yeah, looking at their team, it's mostly physical damage. So I think having the a Frozen Heart this game will be extremely powerful. Like reducing their attack damage uh, or attack speed and the cooldown reduction is huge on Poppy. So I have to make sure that when you go to lane and top lane, you have to make sure your opponent doesn't have a red pot because having a red elixir can completely um, mess you up. It's very hard to sidestep the Q on V. Like, it is pretty hard to sidestep that thing. I will try my best, but no guarantees. Just comes down to how well he can aim. How do I feel about Poppy's overall balanced? Um, she's okay. She's really weak in lane, which is the thing. But if she was stronger in lane, she'd be like overpowering. Cause once you get like Trinity, you can kill most. Like you can pretty much kill any AD care you want. I think she's fine right where she is. But I think Riot's planning on nerfing her or changing her somehow. I'm not or like buffing. I don't even know. They're doing something. No. Where is V? Hmm, the walls. So she's actually trying to level 2 cheese me, but I'm going to hit level 2 first because she spent way too long doing it. She was playing on level 2 cheese me, but I kind of failed horribly on that. That's kind of funny. Nice! Yay bot lane, you guys are the best. Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, that's going to be pretty close. I don't know who's going to win that trade. We will see. So I'm out trading him right now, which is good. Oh, I missed that. Unreal. So I have a massive creep wave behind me at this point. Um, our Graves is going balls deep. Not good. I think he's gonna die. Yeah, he's dead. No, that's kind of expected. Like he chased Bane so far into their jungle. So I'm just gonna let her hit me actually, because my creeps will retaliate and hit her for a whole heck of a lot more damage than she can actually do to me. Uh, let's see, I have 18 CS to her 12, I'm gonna go pick up my Velo Stone right now. And this should give me a pretty big advantage in lane. So, gonna hit up my Velo. There we go, gonna sell one potion for another war, just, in, just to be safe. Always better safe than sorry, she, looks like she's actually pushing up pretty hard. So yeah, she's trying to push to the tower before I can get there. I think I'm going to miss about like 2 or 3 CS. Ooh, okay, this is a nice gank by Jarvan. What? He could've caught her, he could've caught her. What's he doing? Like, he's not doing anything. I I'm really confused. Okay, so Rumble just took out Shen in the ga during a gank. Wow, that is very impressive. Stunning. Oh, I think it's stun off! Wow, okay. That 
I totally thought I had that. That looked like a good angle. I'm pretty surprised. Oh wells. There's no way he's gonna charge at me. No way. Yeah, I didn't think so. That would have been so risky for him. Alright, so Shen shouldn't really be much of a worry for me anymore. I'm actually completely LCSing bottom. Bot lane has actually died. That's no good. So I'm trying to put as much grass as I can out on her. Not too easy to do, but... Ah, uh, shoot. That's bad. Aha! Take that. Got the kill. So the main reason I won this lane was because she let me push the lane too much. Like she I was able to free farm pretty much pushing her lane. And that set her really far behind because I went to went to buy a Felo Stone, she couldn't really keep up my sustain. I want one more wave before I um, go back. I really want my um, Sheen. Would really like to get Sheen if I can. The thing is, um, she's gonna get back to lane pretty quickly, so I have to watch out for her. Alright, so that's enough for Sheen. And gonna kill this one, and I can also buy a potion. Okay, that's good. Top is MIA. So let's see, Sheen and two potions, perfect. So my ult is down for another 60 seconds, so I sh this is where I need a ward. The thing about Poppy is, you can actually get away without having a ward as long as your ult's up. Because if the enemy jungler comes to gank you, you can generally get away, but it is a bit risky. You're putting yourself in a little bit of risk, but you have a pretty good chance of getting away most of the time. Okay, I'm gonna drop my ward right there. So I don't have my ignite up. I don't really want to fight her until it's up, because she might be able to kill me. I'm not exactly sure how much damage she can output right now, so I just have to watch out for it. I'm just gonna let her push this up. There's no reason for me to risk anything at this point. But yeah, Kha'Zix is missing. I don't really want to risk dying, especially with this big a wave. Gotta do a little bit of damage to her, since she's kinda letting me free her ass. Yeah, there's too many minions here, I don't want to fight her. Do not want to fight her with that with this that big wave of minions, because I'm gonna take too much uh, minion damage. Even though it doesn't seem like much, like they're only doing a little bit at a time, but it adds up very quickly, especially with this many. I can't catch up to that. Can I? Killer, yeah. Hmm, could have killed him. My charge is down for like half a second. Oh well. Oof. The vein is snowballing pretty hard. This is not good for us. Not good at all. Fed veins are extremely dangerous. Vein is one of the few AD carries that is really good against killing Poppy because she can just keep kiting me over and over with Tumble. 
so I'm a little bit worried about that. AP Trin is fun. Like, I'm surprised so many people started playing it, because I was playing it like a while back, and I won a ton of games last AP Trin in here, but people kept calling it a troll. Still worked out though, still worked out. So let's see, bot lane is kind of getting crushed right now, that's no good. They should be able to farm pretty easily though. So V's hanging down to mid. So are they going for dragon or something? Looks like they're going for dragon, like they're telegraphing this. I'm gonna push out. Nice, very well played. And they're going to die. Like, Rumble has to be down there or else they're going to die. Like, all of them are going to die if Rumble's not there. Okay, only one. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. It gives me free farm. So good job on my team, like, they bought me a lot of time. It might be able to actually take this tower down. I can probably take this tower down. Oh, this is a bad idea. No, Rumble, no, don't do it. Just, just please run, please run. Mm. Vayne's too fast. 394 move speed. I need my ghost up to chase her down. I also need a pink ward. I'll chill us run circles around me. So I will just get just that. You have to get something off to you being up here. Like, we have to get something off of two being up here, or else I'm just like. We could have got some dragon. I didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. so that's not good. Thank you. So I was actually trying to knock her out of her um, charge, but she just didn't charge, that was really strange. So instead I just pushed him out of Jarvan's flag, which uh, looked really bad. Uh, it's his first time playing V. So apparently they are meant to swap lanes. That explains a lot, cause... Yeah. That explains a lot. I mean, I first played a lot of champions in ranked. It's not really a big deal. Whoops. This game's pretty over though, like I'm sufficiently farmed to carry. And I can carry pretty hard. If, if no one like on our team is super fed, I can carry pretty hard. Hiya! Aww. Okay, as long as nothing ridiculous happens, I'm pretty sure I will win this game. Let's 
see, gonna grab my fade real quick, and I just need 700 more to get my uh, training force. So I might I think I'm gonna go bottom right now and just chase Vayne for a bit, just cause I can. Ooh, Hafu. Oh dear. That was extremely brave. It all worked out. Hafu's the best. Gimme! No. I got him. Oh, burn his slash. Good enough. I'll take that. I will take that. It's good enough for me. I want my Trinity. Can handle this. <laughs> I'm kind of low. And I, there's no way I would catch up anyway. Oh, what's happening mid? Looks like a big brawl. Ooh, no good, no good. Team, no! It's okay, gonna get a pink board. Time to go do some vein huntings. All I have to do is get one phage pack and I should be able to kill her. No, I don't have my ghost up. Hmm, should be a bit difficult. She can actually probably kill me. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Eh, what the heck, might as well. Too much farm to give up. I'm all for grouping. Laters. Curse of pink wards. Yep, so that's why Bane's pretty dangerous for Poppy. Her kiting is insane. Like, she can really easily kite me back. If she actually stunned me in the wall there, I probably would have died. But she kind of delayed on her reactions for some reason. Might have just been panic or something else, who knows. The main reason I play AD slash hybrid Poppy is just preference. Like, it's really just preference. And AD Poppy actually builds into, like, a final build more easily than AP Poppy. AP Poppy, the costs are kind of expensive. Like if you look at just like Lich Bane, you can get Blasting. Blasting one is a pretty big jump. Like most items on all items on Trinity are super cheap. Like 400, 400, 400, 400. Well, okay, I wasn't paying attention. Hello there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much why I play AD Poppy. Just for item efficiency. 
Okay, this game's over. <laughs> Expecting surrender. Yep, there you go. 